Welcome to the ladies room. Today it is my great pleasure to have with me my director, Geraldine Lewandowski. She directs all of our shows for the ladies room. She also has a wonderful event each year called Art Groove. Many artists participate and we have two of them with us today, David Geyser and Frank Latour. And we will be speaking about their art uh, in a little bit. But in the meantime, Geraldine, um, how did you get involved in Art Group? How, how did you get that idea? Um, well, it started about eight years ago, and um, I had the concept of putting together a, a, a visual and musical experience for people. So um, I got like 12 or 14 artists together, and we would uh, show our artwork, and everybody was allowed to then have very large uh, pieces in, in, the, in the show because everybody was allotted about 12, uh, 12 feet of space. So it happens at Ashawa Hall and um, we start off with uh, showing the art and then, uh, then the reception starts at around 6. Then shortly thereafter Frank will play some, uh, his band the King Bees will play blues for us and then after that I do like a DJ dance party and then we do it all again the next day, Sunday. So this year it's April 7th and 8th, and it's at Ashwa Hall. And it's always a really great time. Uh, usually there's 300 plus people show up. So uh, we're here to show you what it's all about and hope you come down and have a great time. So, How long have you been doing our group? Um, eight years now, so we're, we're going to keep going. <laughs> <laughs> what gave you the idea to do it? Um, well, Vito used to do a show at Ashwa Hall, and it always incorporated music and art. There's quite a few um, art shows at Ashwa, but uh, it had been some time since he, you know, since you could incorporate the music element, and that's where I got the idea for Art Groove, and um, it's really been pretty successful. So. Yeah, well, Frank's band is great. Your band is great. You, oh, thank you. And you've won a Grammy. We'll talk about that a little later yeah. in the show. Thank you. So um, how, how do you get people to participate in our group? Um, well, generally, um, I go to, to a lot of openings, and I try to uh, see people's work who, you know, I think would be appropriate for our group, and I invite them. An email will go out, and the first people that respond get the spot. Um, this year, <laughs> we basically sold out in 90 minutes. Um, I thought I was really doing good when I would do it in 24 hours, but now it's really fast, and we actually had a waiting list of eight people that wow. couldn't, you know, didn't get in because, you know, the space is limited. You know, yeah. I don't. Um, I, I want to keep that concept of. Uh, giving artists a large space so that they don't have to just put in small pieces, which uh, uh, most group shows uh, only allow, you know, uh, you know, images to maybe be 25 inches, to, you know, two feet right. or something. So Especially if you do large shows, work, yeah. it's, it makes it prohibited. So This year you've incorporated sculpture too. Yes, uh, we have two uh, sculptors, um, uh, Michael Cartaccino and Phyllis Hammond will be showing. Um, also, Hans von der Bovenkamp, who is a sculptor, he's actually going to be showing his works on paper this year instead oh, of his interesting. sculpture. So interesting. And yeah. is Michael Cartaccino also having art and sculpture, or only sculpture this year? Only sculpture. Okay. Yeah. Can you tell us all of the artists that are involved this, this year? Oh, this year we have 16 artists, actually. It's you been might growing. Have to, you might have to read the list, Doug. <laughs> yeah. Read well, the list? So it's Beth Berry, uh, Laura Benjamin, uh, Barbara Bellata. Rosalind Brenner, Michael Cartaccino, Anahi DeCanio, um, David Geyser, Jerry Gilberti, <laughs> Phyllis Hammond, Frank Latour, myself, Geraldine Lewandowski, Michael McDowell, your husband, Joyce Raimondo, uh, Ingrid Torson, Hans von der Bovenkamp, Charles Waller, uh, Greta Watson, and Mark Zimmerman. So a great group. Artists. Really great so. group. 
Um, in the past, you've had an outdoor uh, projection on the building, but last year we got rained out for that, right? Yeah, so that, that's difficult this time dependent. of yeah. year. Um, uh, this year we're hoping with all the warm weather that we can actually bring it outside, but that those things have to be. And that you would know, be John Jinks if it can happen last minute. Yeah, he's if it's great tour. Yeah, John's great been there too. Yeah. Um, do you want to uh, show some of the slides from yeah. last year now? Yeah, let me show you what our, our group's all about. Okay, okay, and then um, Geraldine's going to show some slides now, and um, and then we get to talk to Frank and David about their art. Okay, here we go. So here's uh, Joyce Raimondo and her artwork. Um, then this is uh, just some people having fun. <laughs> uh, this is uh, Dr. Mike and, and uh, Linda. There's uh, uh, Laura Benjamin and Beth Berry, who's in the show, along with Lance Corey, who was a, a previous participant. That's Anahi DeCanio. I believe she's been in uh, quite a few, almost all the art groups. Um, there's Frank doing her harmonica and his band, The King Bees. There's the drummer. And here's Anahi's artwork, uh, more Anahi artwork. Here's uh, uh, Frank's uh, Jimi Hendrix piece. Uh, this is more of Frank's artwork that he showed at last year's art group. Uh, here's some of my work, Smack Baby and Baby Shoes. Uh, then there's my uh, Don't Step on My Jimmy Shoes, which is a uh, painting and a, and a denim jacket. And there's uh, Pin Up Girl, one of my pieces. This is Barbara Bellata's uh, resin on canvas, uh, another Barbara Bellata. Um, and here's two more pieces of hers. This was last year we had Lou Zacks, who uh, has passed away, but his uh, widow, Fran Caston, was showing his work. Uh, he had done um, a painting of the Sag Harbor Cinema, which is you know now going to be uh, m uh, memorialized because the Sag Harbor Cinema is not there anymore. Um, this is Cynthia Sobel, uh, Jerry Gilberti, more pieces by Jerry Gilberti, and this is uh, new paintings by Hans von der Bovenkamp. And there's another Hans, uh, Serpentine. This is called Watermelon Love by Hans von der Bovenkamp. And this was a uh, paperwork by uh, Ron Norquist and uh, Daniel G Gonzalez. Uh, these are all uh, prints of um, the patterns that come inside an envelope. When you get an envelope that's, let's say, made for uh, checks so that you can't see through them, th th these two artists actually did an, an, an art uh, piece on that. There's uh, Michael McDowell's piece, your husband, from last year. This is Charles Waller, had his uh, Donald Trump painting there, and another uh, Victory Garden by Charles, tap dance. And then there's his Moby Dick, and this is another piece by Michael McDowell, more Michael McDowell, and here's some people having a good time. There's Judy and Hans uh, at the last art group, and another Judy and Hans. And there's Judy going for it. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Judy's had some wine, obviously. Uh-oh. Um, Marty and his friend. And this is a few pieces by Nadine Daskala. And that's pretty much last year's. So, uh, to see what's happening this year, you're going to have to show up at show uh, up. Ashwa Hall. Yeah. Judy's usually uh, the bartender. <laughs> yes, you, obviously hitting Judy the and bottle I are the while bartenders. I, so. while I bartend. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, it's uh, April 7th. Uh, you can come start seeing the art at uh, 12 noon, and we'll go until God knows when, yeah. 11 o'clock. And then yeah. uh, now on Sunday, uh, the, the artwork will still be up, and then we're going to actually uh, do like a tea dance between 3 and 5 this oh, year, where I'm going to be doing d old disco and You're stuff. the best just DJ. You know, liven it up. You are and the so. best DJ. Okay. This is one of yours, right? Your Einstein. Yes, that's one of my yeah. Einstein yeah. Um, pieces. So. so, Frank, you um, did you start out in music first, or were you always an artist? How did how did it all transpire? I've been an artist since uh, since I'm a little kid. Uh huh. Always drawing. Yeah, self. I'm self taught in, uh, in in all my disciplines, music and uh, and art. Amazing, because your band is really good, and your Thank work you. looks really good too. Thank Can we show some of your work? Is it mostly um, 
these rock are, stars and um, people like that? In this in this grouping here, but I might surprise what? you that uh, at the show with some completely different stuff. Um, oh, okay. The last like four four years, I think I've been there. This might be the fifth. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. I showed large uh, portraiture, um, mm -hmm. so I might do uh -huh. something a little different. I don't know. I still have a little time to. <laughs> to work. <laughs> These are, this is um, uh, one of the pieces of uh, Bob Marley. Uh, Bob Marley. Wow. These That's are done great. on uh, an illustration board. And, uh, this one here, Jimi Hendrix. I like to yeah. paint him because he was a big influence on my on my music. What a great! And I have a few more, but I'll show one more. This is a another another uh, painting right here. Okay. And Aretha a, Franklin. A very, young, very young, very young Aretha. Very young Aretha, Aretha, Aretha Franklin. Yeah. yeah. Oh, show, show us all, more. Show yeah, all, we yeah. want to see more, more. <laughs> <laughs> this is, this is uh, Jaco Pistorius. Who, uh, wow, that's interesting. Who changed the way that people play the bass guitar today. Oh. Uh, huh. see, and, and there's a book called Jaco, which is a, an amazing read. And um, yeah, Muddy Waters, who also Muddy was a very uh, early very influential. Of mine. Yes. And um, let's see if I got to show you one more here. Mm -hmm. This is Howling Wolf, and this oh. um, is a painting I did for the Howling Wolf Museum. Oh, wow, and, cool. Uh, they have uh, that image in the Howling Wolf Museum. I think it's over in Philadelphia somewhere, but I'm not, I'm not quite sure. I don't remember. <laughs> And so you never, did you study, do you, you play gu guitar? I play guitar, harmonica, and, uh, and vocals. Uh-huh. Yes. And, but never went to school for it? No. I play it completely the wrong way. <laughs> the harmonica I play upside down in the wrong way. That's, I picked it up when I was about 12 years old. And you picked it up upside down? I picked it up upside <laughs> down. <laughs> so when I was about 14, I, I uh. bought a, a, you know, like a thing that said, I learned how to play harmonica with Sonny Terry. And it came with a 45, and uh, I was all excited. And went home, and I opened up, you know, put the record on. I opened up the book, and I realized that you couldn't read. Not being exposed to a piano, oh. I had uh, I played with the bass notes that are How right. How old were you? 14. Yeah, yeah, this is after okay, I've been you could playing read. for a couple of years. Yeah. So I ended up um, realizing that everything was going the other way. So I tried to turn it around, but I was already in my art group, oh, and yeah. um, I gave the book to a friend of mine who. Uh, he's an accomplished harmonica player as well, uh -huh. but um, that's uh, the guitar I play different too. You I do play it behind I your do back. Everything different. No, I don't. I don't play behind my back. But <laughs> <laughs> sometimes I'll turn my back to the audience. <laughs> and, yeah. and the singing, just you uh, always been a natural singer. No, uh, <laughs> in the uh, early '70s, I was playing harmonica with a with a rock blues band. And uh, they were all singing, and I got into the moment, and I started singing too. And uh, the bass player, after the show, told me, he said, Frank, you're, you're a good harmonica player. He said, but never sing. Don't give up your day <laughs> job. Never, yeah. You have a terrible voice. And uh, You've been singing out of ever necessity, since. I ended up being the front man and a, and a singer. So some people like the way I sing now. I don't know. Why did you uh, name your band the King Bees? Um, King Bee was... Um, is a is an old uh, is an old blues song, and uh, there is no King Bee, which many people have pointed that out to me. <laughs> you know, there's no there's no real King Bee, and I just responded, uh, King Bee's the the one that gets the queen. <laughs> so, so, but uh, it's uh, actually David Bowie's uh, first band was the King Bees. Oh, oh yeah. wow! And a lot of people have used that. Huge David Bowie fan. Oh, wow, yeah, me aren't too. We, aren't Boy. we all? Aren't yeah. we all? I'm gonna go see the show. See, so, so you won a Grammy. I, I'm a, gr a Grammy recipient of uh, 2014. I was on a, a record by Johnny Winter, and um, it was called Step Back. Uh -huh. And I did, um, I did a, a cut on his, on his record and with many other uh, uh, celebrity artists. Uh, that was his concept of the records. Did you actually go to the Grammys? No, I did not go Aww. to the Grammys, and it wasn't televised because the blues... Um, Along with it's other one of those uh, you know, given genres of, of music, are, are somehow yeah. somehow put uh, you know they don't they don't get the, the spotlight on that. But I got the certificate anyway. So yeah, yeah. how great is that? Yeah, you know, it, it was a uh, it was it was pretty cool. It was a nice honor. It was a real honor to play with Johnny Winter the last uh, few years of his life. Yeah, and the the plans were to keep making these albums uh, and showcase all. There was about all his past work 10 because to 12 yeah. Years. 
yeah, his roots. The first one yeah. was called Roots, and it was going to be Roots too, but then it was uh, called Step Back. Uh -huh. And the third album never uh, never came to a reality because he, he passed he away. Passed away. Yeah. Mm. But it was great to be on, you know, to be in the studio with him and to be on stage with him. Sure, yeah. amazing. And the, you, op you told me you're telling me you opened for somebody really interesting. Um, well, you mentioned Joe Bonamasso. Joe Bonamasso oh, right. is on uh, the last record that I did with Johnny Winter. But I actually, I met Joe Bonamasso when he was in... He's a Long a Island boy, a, isn't he? About 11, from New Jersey. Oh, New Jersey. Yeah, I was at a club in Manhattan, and little Steven from the um, Bruce Springsteen band was bringing him under his wing and, you know, uh -huh. getting him out there. So he brought him to a, to a club uh, uh, in the village, and uh, my friend told me, you know, come and check this young guitar player out. And, uh, you know, he was... He was Quite something. He was prodigy, yeah. Yeah. He didn't sing. He didn't sing yet back then. But now, mm -hmm. he, you know, he sings and he does it all. But I, uh, I opened up uh, for Joe Bonamassa when he when he he came into his own, over at the Huntington IMAC, which is now the Paramount. Uh -huh. And uh, so that was that was a nice Look show. Uh, Avatar there, David Geyser. Nice That's to have you here today. It's a what a what an honor. So Thank how you. did you uh, find out about Art Group and get involved? Well, <coughs> I come to the last couple of shows over the uh -huh. last, I've been, been out here for about 18 years. Uh -huh. And um, uh, actually a, a very good friend of mine and Geraldine's, uh, Charles Waller, uh, we had a show at the White Room Gallery together. And I remember that. That was a good great friends, show. You know, had a, yeah. Had a lot, lot of kicks together. Yeah. And uh, it just seemed uh, like it was time I got involved. Uh, I was asked to participate and I thought it, um, it was an honor. and. I love Oshawa Hall, and uh, my yeah. studio is right around the corner, uh, so I, I figured this this is a good chance to show a little face and have a party with some friends. <laughs> party, and we, and we do party. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. How many pieces will you have in the show? Uh, just probably one large piece. I I, t I took a half share of. Um, uh huh. And. Um, <coughs> I'll probably have about a, a six foot by four foot piece. Oh, will, that's exciting. Uh, yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's air yeah. out a few pieces. I have a show um, coming up in Portland, Oregon in, in May. Cool. And uh, I figured this is a chance to hang some of the new stuff and see if... Um, see how it flies. <coughs> I, I see, if, see if any flags fly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so Portland, Oregon. Have you spent any time in Oregon? Oh, well, I <coughs> I've been showing out there for about 26 years. Oh, okay. Uh, right. The gallery that uh, I'm involved with, uh, Butters Gallery, probably one of the finest galleries I've... <laughs> I've ever been in involved with, and one of the ones that survived over the years. Um, picked my work out of a gallery in New York, a nice. gallery which has since, you know, like closed, it closed its doors, and um, and I had a, a very good uh, career with, with Butters, uh, and been out there multiple times, you know, over the last 28 years. Had about 21 man shows, you know, with them. Uh -huh. Is it beautiful? It's incredible. I mean, it's a yeah. it's a really hip. Smart little town, Portland boy. And, and so beautiful. many shows filmed in Portland yeah, now. Yeah, well, it's it's kind of what what ha where the Bay Area migrated to. You right. know, um, oh. you know, after the the sixties and uh, middle seventies, and uh, it it's a uh, fantastic restaurants. They had the first brew pubs. You know, were uh, actually started in Portland oh, really? in an area which was like the uh, kind of like the Soho, the old uh, uh, warehouse area that had been neglected, uh -huh. and. The gallery, Butters Gallery, that I show with, uh, was one of the first ones in this area, the Pearl District. And um, <coughs> I remember I used to, you know, used to hang out at the gallery, but then I used to wander down the street to one of the local brew pubs, <laughs> and uh, they they direct all the traffic or any collectors, you know, down there. <laughs> uh, sure. <laughs> and uh, it, 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 it facilitated a lot of sales and, <laughs> and, and good times. And, but it's uh, and it still has a fantastic uh, quality to the city, um, fantastic restaurants. You know, really uh, great. Again, hip, you know, like sensibilities. Yeah. Do you watch Portlandia? No, actually, I Have you don't. ever seen I, it? I, no, I, I've seen it once. It's once or very twice. funny. Yeah. I don't well, see I've it very often. I've got to live Portlandia. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, I haven't seen enough. it often, but my daughter watches it, and whenever I see it, it's really hysterical. Yeah. And now I think Divorce is, is filmed in Portland, uh, the new a lot, Jessica, lot of films Sarah have, have Jessica. been up through there. Yeah, yeah they must uh, have a good relationship with the film industry mm -hmm. and give them breaks on everything. It's a little harder in New York with all the red tape. 
Yeah, so. yeah, right. Remember when I was in Soho in, in New York, you know, I had a studio there for a long time. I, I couldn't walk out my back door, you know, without running into a film, you know, or a yeah, film crew. True. You know, was, yeah, true. Yeah. Filming all over New York. Yeah, well, now they're spreading their wings to the other <laughs> states. So this is going to be a very, very exciting art group. What's your, what's your feeling about it, Gerald? Are you excited? Oh, very excited. We have, it's a lot yeah, of work, a lot of work for you. Work. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Um, um, well, yes, I am, because uh, I'm excited about the sculpture that, you know, we're going to show um, mm -hmm. and, um, the you know, all the new stuff that's coming in. We do have new artists every year. Um, last year, I think we sold the most of, uh, most more artists sold last year than uh, the previous year. So uh, we're looking for, you know, to have a really good time. That's really what it's all about, is to enjoy yourself and get out there and meet some people, connect and, you know. Have a good time. Do some dancing. We well, some dancing the here. band Frank's is really gonna great. Frank's going to help us out, boy. He had yeah, to play how many people extra, in your band? extra uh, time last year because they didn't want to let him go. To talk into it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's fluid. Yeah. Is yeah. it gender fluid, too? Um, Got to keep up with the times, you know. <laughs> it, no, it's, it's, uh, it's all male, but I, I, I embrace a, a, a female uh, musician to, to come in. Well, yeah. what about a singer? Me too. <laughs> <laughs> you can, you can come it's the Me Too movement. Hey, Judy's I'll, gonna I'll sing. Call, I'll call you up. Come on, you singers, come I'll, on down I'll to Oswald Hall. I'll call you right on up. Join Frank's band. <laughs> so it's usually like four or five people, though. Yeah. 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 The music's really good, oh, I have to say. You. Everybody yeah. dances and. Yeah, I'll be doing a lot of originals uh, this. Uh, oh, this that's summer. cool. Yeah. So you write music too. Yeah. yeah. And you've never gone to music school. No. Wow, you're amazing. <laughs> Most you're of like these guys uh, never went to music school either. A I mean, music I figured, savant. Yeah. There was music before somebody wrote it down yeah. on paper. They oh, this is true. Paper for the true. people that didn't know. Well, they, they, they say they were reincarnated and they heard it in their head yeah, from yeah. another life. We should talk about this oh, piece yeah, of data. Yeah, David beautiful. brought this in, and uh, it's something it, new that he's yeah, doing. Well, it's a, um, it looks like yeah, a giant brick. Well, it is. I mean, it, it, it's a, a chunk. You know, this, these are my. Uh, a uh, series of, of very deep, you know, like um, heavily you know, like uh, painted and composed pieces, very textural. And I've also added uh, Chinese fungus, herbal fungus to, to the piece to, um, that's what that is. in a way, to echo the, uh, the, the countenance of the, uh, the surface. Oh. Um, so if you're not feeling well, you can take a little of the <laughs> mushroom yeah, and make well, kombucha. Well, that, yeah, you can be, you have an <laughs> aesthetic experience and also it can be your, your Medicare, away. you know. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've, I was been haunting Chinatown, you know, like uh, picking up the, these fungus and stuff. And uh -huh. I, I keep asking questions, and what, what are they used for? You know, what, what can you do with these? And I, th I, I get no answers. Uh, and, and then somebody told me... Do so, they understand and, English? And, well, they do, but if, if they if they... If they started giving you answers if these were, you know, Would medicinal and cure all, scare you away. They, well, no, they they be subject to the pharmaceutical, oh, you know, like uh, of stipulations and regulations and, and all yeah. sorts of. Uh, so I, I think they shy away from me, <laughs> just because of that. But um, it's uh, they're fascinating, and I've I've used them before. I, I used to collect fungus um, in my. I have a place in the Catskills, and uh, oh. and I'd, I'd incorporate incorporate them into paintings because they reflected. You know the knots, the gnarls. You know the yeah. hard. You know, like uh, uh, some of the basic roots of, of, of a really thick paint, yeah. and, uh, and and the natural ebb and flow of, of the materials. Uh, so I started incorporating them, and then and this is where it's it's led to. So, huh? Oh, wow. Also, there's gold leaf, and there's uh, yeah, there's clays, and uh, I, there's a great yeah, quote from uh, De Buffet uh, about. Um, the future of art is under our feet, you know? <laughs> uh -huh. and so I, I've been working with a lot of materials, clays and stuff, you know, and, and reflecting that. Wow. Well, very interesting. So, how many sculptures will you have in the show? No, I'll, I'll just—I'll probably have one large painting, which may right. not reflect, you know, the sensibilities of this piece. That will—it's a piece that's been been used. Um, in fact, it's, I, I think it is in the slides. You um, know, that, we could um, show some of David's a few oh, of David's sure. pieces here. But they start out using a, a clay and, and, and glue mixture for the surface, and actual, you know, like so, it, it comes up across as a clay patina. Um, when I start working up on the, here's a you can just uh, if you want to talk about these pieces. So well, the, the, these are a couple pieces which uh, were in a show. Uh, the, these are large like skins, laminated 
parchment, which I, I've been working on. Um, and they become very tough, like shields, uh, the, the previous piece. Cool. Nice. This, this is a, a piece of the new series that I've been working on that actually uses uh, this clay glue mixture you know, and uh, uh, as, as an under priming and, and, and priming <coughs> surface you know, to, to build up um, uh, my images on. And then it's, uh, I, I, I use a, a classic oil you know, painting technique of glazing, glazing surfaces up on top. And um, um, did you press switch? This might be one of the pieces. Look, it okay. went back for some reason. Yeah, one of the pieces I may put into the show uh, using the, the Nautilus, okay. you know, the, the swirl and the, uh, the actually mathematic uh, oh, you know, right, like shape, yeah. you know, like mm. the Fibonacci set series, right, Fibonacci which I've always numbers, uh, yeah. uh, been fascinated with. Um, but, you know, incorporating that, you know, like into the, uh, the textural uh, malaise, or, or not malaise, but the, uh, the fauna and surface that I build up underneath it. So, uh, Nature well, certainly yes. is incredible, isn't it? That that it is. the well, natural you, curve is through everything. Yeah, when you amazing. Well, it's always <laughs> been what I've gone back to, you know, the and 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 what you know, like really fires, you know, the spirit of yeah. the piece and um, uh, turning matter into spirit. And uh, that's that's perfect. Perfect. Yeah. What about the Mandelbrock progression? Have you ever oh, looked? Sure. That's like oh, Paisley yeah. every time the. They zoom in with the microscopes. They see paisley yeah. everywhere, and it just Amazing. keeps going. Well, I thought fractals, too, are really yes. fascinating. Yes, yes. And Mandelbrot. It's, uh, it's just, uh, it is. It's fascinating. Nature oh, the is systems fascinating. are wonderful. Yeah. yeah. So this has been a really interesting show. Thank you so much right, for really. joining us. Well, thank you pleasure. for coming. This was so nice to have you all, all right, here. Fun. And thank you, ladies, Eight, for, for joining us in the <laughs> ladies' room. And it's all about giving ladies room, ladies to express themselves. So... Give yourself lots of room, room for love, room for fun, room to grow, and room to glow. Art and come crew. and dance with us at Art Crew. April group. 7th, Ashwa Hall. <laughs> April 7th, Ashwa Hall. See you there. See you there. Bye. Breathe in. Stop here.